Today I would like to talk about the life cycle of a worm. Um, first I'm going to tell you about the uh, mating. Once the worm connects with their mate to um, mate, the egg begins to grow in both worms. The cocoons that hold the eggs can hold up to five baby worms at a time. And here as you can see there are two eggs which can be typical for one worm having one, one worm having the other, or there could be two in one worm and three in the other. And here we have the different types on the worm and the slidium is what connects each worm so they can mate. And the mucus shield helps keep in the eggs. And as you can see in number three, that is where the eggs are held, which are known as cocoons. Here is a full worm life cycle. First you have the worms mating, and then you have where the eggs have been made, and then after the worms hatch, they become young worms, and the cycle begins all over again. What they eat. Typically, worms make everything that they eat into compost, so they are able to process waste that many, many creatures are not, and they can process fruit peels, um, vegetable pieces, coffee grounds, eggshells, they all love it. Even um, wet, like pizza boxes, works. Um, here are some facts. The sticky slime that a worm makes and that you feel if you pick up a worm keeps them from drying out. If, they're dry out. if they dry out, then they will die because that's how they breathe. Such as we breathe through our lungs, they breathe through their skin. And here's a picture of a ton of worms. Some worms can live up to be 50 years old, so if you think of your grandparents, that is about how long, right there, that the worm can live. As you can see, there's a baby worm right here, and if you chop a worm in half, it won't become two worms like you may think. It, the head will actually regenerate. Um, the reason why a worm will dry out and die is because their body is made up of 90% of water. So that's typically why you see worms after it has rained, or if it's going to rain, you might see them in the sidewalk. And the reason why they slither along like a snake is because they don't have arms or legs or no eyes, so they feel to get around. As I said earlier, that you can typically think a worm living up to eight years, but they they can live up to be 50 in our lifetime. And here's a couple little cute pictures that I thought you might enjoy of an older worm.